This is Fox 26 News at 9. Police arrest a mother. She allegedly shot her own two children. A 15-year-old girl is dead, her 13-year-old brother in fair condition. This is Monique Nation. A live report is coming up. And have been targeted in southeast Houston. Tonight, police are asking for your help. We say when they go back, they explode. But first on Fox, they say your car needs hundreds of dollars in repairs. But is it true? Fox 26 investigates auto mechanics. Good evening, I'm Mike Barajas. And I'm Anna Devlantis. Ever wonder what happens after you drop your car off for repairs? Fox 26 investigates decided to find out by going undercover. And tonight, Randy Wallace joins us with this first on Fox hidden camera investigation. Randy? Mike, Anna, if you've ever wanted to be a fly on the wall while your car is being repaired, this story's for you. We took a truck to a Northside transmission shop and our hidden camera caught what went on while we weren't there. In just a minute, you might be asking yourself the same thing we did. What exactly did we pay for? Trans International. Our hidden camera is inside a transmission repair shop, Trans International on the North Loop. We're about to get some bad news from the manager, Kevin Stevens. Said you got between two and four weeks, it's gonna leave you somewhere. He says our transmission is about to go out. We say when they go back, they explode. Oh. But there's something the manager doesn't know. We'd already had the transmission checked out by an expert mechanic. Pat O'Reilly from AAA came to a much different conclusion. No, there's no sign that this transmission is going to fail anytime soon. We had an undercover producer drop the truck off at the shop, saying she wanted the transmission service. And what is that? Is that That's changing the fluid? Changing the fluid and the but, filter, the gasket. Yeah, and I don't know. We can't do any hard. adjustments because it's all electronic, but... How much um, about what does that run? That will run now $49. You could do that today? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, yep. just, if you, when you're in there, you know, if you see anything more major... Yeah, what I do is I drop out. the pin. If I see something is metal or something, then that's the problem. $49 for a transmission service is a good deal. Except one thing, the work was never done. You, you tell me, Kevin, did she get ripped off? No, sir. You she got paid for the service. But she never got the service. How do we know? Because we had a camera hidden underneath the truck. It shows the fluid and filter were never changed. The transmission pan was never even touched. Just to be sure, we had our expert mechanic check. Well, there's no indication that this pan was removed. In fact, in the two hours the truck is at the shop, the workers do nothing but park it out by the curb. But that doesn't stop Stevens from painting a bleak picture for our producer. He tells her he took the truck for a test drive and has discovered serious problems. There is some metal in there, in the pan. Uh -huh. Okay, there's quite a bit of the magnet. There's a magnet in the pan. Or so he says. But again, we know for a fact. He never looked in the pan. Still, he says if she doesn't spend at least $800 on repairs soon, she could be in big trouble. I would give you probably two to, well, two to four weeks you're going to have to have a fix. How are you able to determine that? That's inside. Inside what now? Inside the transmission. What did you do to the truck? Okay, that was the, the service. What, what was the service? What Just dropped the pan and the filter and the fluid. You dropped the pan. Yes. Then we showed them our hidden camera video, and the owner of the shop admitted the work was never done. We don't believe anything was done to the truck. No, nothing was done to the truck. He told her that it was serviced. No, it wasn't serviced. It seven. says on this paper that it was serviced. But he says the $40 was actually for this, just pulling out the dipstick. See, the $40, $40 is, is for, the, for the labor. That's all it is for. What was the labor? What, 40 bucks for what? For somebody to pull out the stick? That, that's $40? Pulling the dipstick and looking at the dipstick certainly did not call for a $40 charge. How would you feel, sir, if you took your car somewhere and you had a camera underneath the car and you knew that it never went in a garage, that the hood never went up, that in two hours the only thing that happened to your vehicle was it left one spot to go around the corner to another spot? Okay. How would you feel? Why, you... why would I have to play games to make the $40? 
What do I have to take inside, open it and look, put my head in, take it out? You probably had the camera inside the engine, I don't know. We're far from being the only ones to question the work done here. More than a dozen trans-international customers have filed complaints with the Better Business Bureau. In many cases, they felt their vehicles were, if you will, held hostage. In other words, we took part of it apart, and you're going to need X amount of money before you get it back. Trans International denies it, but Charlie Smith Jr. says that's exactly what happened to him. I took my truck in here for one thing, and then I have to tow it out and can't even drive it. In fact, he says he had to pay $250 for this, all the parts of his transmission in a box. But after what he'd done to my transmission, I told him I didn't want him working on my truck at all. The owner of the shop says the complaining what? customers represent Are only a small business? fraction of his business. clientele. You cannot make everybody happy. All right, you cannot, you... I can bring you 99.9% .9 of the people are happy. Bring you Even though the back. owner and manager stand by the diagnosis they gave us, they returned our $40. If she needs a $40 bag, then we pay the $40 bag. It's no problem. I apologize to her as well.